Good morning, friends of St. Augustine. It's a great and beautiful day. God will bless and surprise us today. As one community, united in God's love, He is inviting us to set our hearts aflame. Let us make the sign of our salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. On leaving the synagogue, Jesus entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Simon's mother-in-law lay sick with a fever. They immediately told him about her. He approached, grasped her hand, and helped her up. Then the fever left her, and she waited on them. When it was evening, after sunset, they brought to him all who were ill or possessed by demons. The whole town was gathered at the door. He cured many who were sick with various diseases, and he drove out many demons not permitting them to speak because they knew him. Rising very early, before dawn, he left and went off to a deserted place where he prayed. Simon and those who were with him pursued him, and on finding him said, Everyone is looking for you. He told them, Let us go on to the nearby villages that I may preach there also. For this purpose have I come. So he went into their synagogues, preaching and driving out demons throughout the whole of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflection Today, in this Gospel, Jesus is ministering to the sick. The Gospel opens with Jesus leaving the synagogue and going to Simon's home accompanied by some of his disciples. When Jesus arrives at Simon's house, he is approached and told that Simon's mother-in-law was ill with a fever. Jesus went to her, took her hand, and helped her off. Immediately, the fever left her. If Jesus came into our town, our city, would we approach and ask him to heal us? What is the healing we would hope for? Would it be a physical illness, a spiritual need? Today, I invite you to reflect on the healing that you desire for yourself and our world. God will hear our prayer. We may not get an immediate response, but trust that God is at work. God will respond. How patient will we be? Let us now pray the prayer to Our Lady of Good Counsel. God of heavenly wisdom, you have given us Mary, Mother of Jesus, to be our guide and counselor. Grant that we may always seek her motherly help in this life and so enjoy her blessed presence in the life to come. May the Holy Spirit fill us with reverence for God's creation and compassion for all God's children. May our labors of love on earth enhance the reign of God, and may God's gifts of faith and living hope prepare us for the fullness of the world to come. Amen. Our Mother of Good Counsel, Saint Monica, Saint Augustine, Lord, you have made us for yourself, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.